Hi, Mrs. Kellogg here, and welcome back to my art at home video series. So you're probably wondering, why am I wearing this crazy hat? No, it is not crazy hat day. So today is collage day, and I collage this hat. So um, that's one of the fun things that you can do with collage. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about collage um, and tell you what it is. Oh, I can tell you looking more at my hat than at the word collage and these pictures. So I'm gonna take this off so that doesn't distract you. Okay, so now what collage is, is when you either cut or tear uh, paper and you glue it. Um, and it could be old cards, it could be old photographs, it could even be fabric, um, any kind of different paper. Um, so you glue that down and you layer it onto uh, a surface, for example, like a watercolor piece of paper or any kind of paper. Okay, so that's what collage is. Now, when I'm, these are some examples of uh, collages, so I just want to give you some ideas before we start. And the other thing is, when I look through magazines and I'm looking through all these pictures and words, there is so much um, that I get, oh my gosh, it takes me forever to go through all the magazines. So what I like to do is come up with a theme. Um, so that helps me have focus when I'm looking through all the magazines and photographs and things. So here's some ideas for themes for your collage. So one, um, this one's made out of old photographs of mine. And um, so that is what I would call a memory collage. So you might like the idea of a memory collage. So one, um, this collage down here, um, this one, is um, what I call my happy place collage because one of my favorite places to go is the beach. And so um, that's my main focus in this collage. So I call that my happy place collage. Here's another example of, a, of collage. Um, and it's fine if you just want to have what's called a grayscale collage, which is where you use white you use gray um, and you use black. Um, and again, you know, think back to when we talked about color pattern. See how this is lighter and darker um, and it makes it stand out more. So that again, um, you know, you could just do uh, a black and white or a black, white and gray collage if, yeah, and use that as a theme. Um, now this one, I went through some old cards and I found this great picture that I really loved and I especially love the colors. So if you notice my color pattern, I just kept repeating uh, those bright colors again and again. So this kind of became my, the color became the theme for me in this one. Um, and then this next one, um, this is, uh, you know, during our pandemic right now, uh, what I did was I went through newspapers and old newspapers I had and just cut out words um, that I was feeling or things um, that I was thinking about. Uh, and then I just started collaging those. Um, so, so for that one, I would call that my feeling collage. So you, could, if you're feeling things, um, you can just go to old newspapers, magazines, where even junk mail you can use and just start cutting out words of what you're feeling and collage those and have a feeling collage. And, and that really helps. Um, and then this last collage I just wanted to show you. Um, it's okay not to have any pictures uh, in, in your collage. You can just do a shape collage if, if that's something that interests you. Okay, so now these are the different themes and ideas that you can have for your collage, but I want to talk about the materials we're going to use today for our lesson. So let's go over to my workspace and I'll show you the materials we'll need. Now I'm going to show you the materials that we're going to use today. 
Okay, so one of the first things you'll need is what I call a base paper. So this could be a watercolor paper, um, construction paper, um, and you'll notice I painted mine, so if you like, want to do that, you can, but you could just keep it, uh, have it be a white paper. Uh, the next thing you'll need is scissors. Um, and again, if you don't have scissors available to you, um, you can always tear paper. That, that's another technique or a way collage artists work. Um, a glue stick, you're definitely going to need a glue stick. And um, say you don't have a glue stick, you know, you could always use Elmer's glue. Um, and then the other option is, you know, if you have paint brushes, you can always put some starch and add a little water or the glue with a little water, that Elmer's glue with a little water. Um, and then you can just paint the glue on to the paper that you're going to place down. And of course, we'll need paper. As you can tell, I've got lots of paper here. Um, so uh, whatever you have, you can use newspapers, old photographs, old cards. Uh, I even use junk mail um, that comes in the mail that I end up recycling. I'll use that for collage or magazines that come in the mail. Um, that are kind of junk magazines that I put in the recycle bin, I, I'll use those as well. So um, whatever you have in terms of uh, paper, you can use. And um, the last thing I, I just want to leave you with before we start our collage um, is just remember the themes. Think about a possible theme because as you can tell, that's a lot to go through. Um, going through magazines and newspapers and things. Um, so if you have a theme, you're more directed and focused when you're looking for images or colors. Um, so that might be helpful. Okay, so now um, I'm going to let you go gather your materials and then we'll meet back here and we'll start our collages. Okay, so I will see you soon. Did you get your materials? Great. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now before we start cutting, did you ask your parents if you could use those photographs for your collage or maybe it's your mom's special magazine? Remember, ask your parents before uh, you gather your materials because I don't want you cutting up family photos and things like that. That would not be good. Okay, so now we're going to get started. Okay, so um, now that I have my images and I've got what I like, um, I'm going to start cutting up my images. Um, so one thing, for example, I'm just going to use this as an example. Um, if you're tearing, uh, that's fine, or you're cutting, but one thing you want to avoid is this kind of thing, where you just, you know, slap and glue on there, and then you, you know, you don't want to do collages, you know, like that, because do you see how all the paper would be coming up, and these maybe are just too big of, uh, the pieces are just too big to use, so, um, and then they're going to end up falling off, so, you want it to, if you're tearing, you want to, uh, you know, take some more care in tearing, or if you're cutting, you want to take a little bit more care in that. So, like for the example, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to kind of come up. Now there's another piece there, and I'm going to continue on. See, so just turn your paper as you're working. So, collage does take some time. Um, because like just gathering the materials will take time. So you can, um, you know, divide it up into just parts. Like maybe one day is gathering the materials. Another day is just cutting out some of the images or shapes that you want to use. See how this is going to take me a little bit of time. Um, so I just want to show you how you really want to um, take your time. Um, and just relax um, and as I see I'm gonna cut some of that off I'm you know I might um, 
just cut the top off like this, see what that looks like, and then get more careful as I go in and there's, you know, some bigger shapes in there, see? But notice how I'm turning as I'm cutting, so that's, that's really helpful. Um, and you know, some you may cut, some you may tear. You know, you just, you don't want, uh, if you're not used to cutting a lot, sometimes your hand might hurt a little bit. So um, if you do too much cutting, so, you know, break it up into parts. You don't, you know, have to do the whole project in one day. Um, I usually um, don't do, uh, collage in one day um, it ends up being parts because it takes me a while to find the image takes me a while to cut these images up so that kind of you know gives you a little bit of an example of how you want to cut your papers into smaller pieces like so okay so I'm not going to spend too much time on this I don't want you to watch me cutting everything the whole time so I'm just going to see what this looks like you know um, maybe I like that um, I've got another image cut out here that I kind of like the colors of so maybe that's going to work for me better and then I can put these uh, pieces down so once I get my pieces cut out I try to figure out what do we, what's the focal area what do I want everybody to look at so I know that's a pretty strong image so um, and this one is too so that's going to be my main focus notice I'm not gluing yet I lay things down and see what it looks like then I glue okay so I kind of like you know the this look so I'm, I'm gonna go with that so again, I can use a glue stick, but I'll show you what it looks like when I use this starch. Um, so I kind of, and again, you know, you want to make sure you have a mat and everything down. You don't want to, um, especially with the starch and that, you don't want to get that on your family's table. So, um, you know, be careful and mindful of that. And I love putting music on when I'm doing this. Um, because then I really um, calm down. I, I really use that art side of the brain, um, not my language side, which is my talking side. When I teach, I use both my art and language side. Um, but when I'm creating art, I get real quiet and calm. And that's because I'm using my creative side of my brain, my art side, which is your right side of your brain. And you've heard me talk about that in class. So it's kind of fun to just relax, listen to some music, and start creating. Okay, so I'm going to put that down. Um, and I just want to show you another idea. Um, but you see how I'm just taking these small um, pieces here? and really um, getting those down. See, this is coming up a little bit, so I'll reapply some more glue there. And again, you can do this with a glue stick, but I just really wanna make sure it's flush to the page, it's all flat, I don't have a bunch of lumps and bumps. And like I was showing you before, you don't wanna kinda of do this where it's still hanging off the page. Um, so, uh, you know, those are all things to think about. So. The main thing is, you, you know, you really want to slow down and then just take your time and pay attention to those, those details and just do a little, a little bit, um, you know, maybe just do a little bit each day. So that's always uh, another good way to go. So see how I'm kind of repeating the colors that I'm seeing? So we're kind of going back to that idea of color pattern, and then I'll probably repeat these shapes. So that, again, you want to always think about the two elements of art that um, we, and actually three um, that we have 
talked about in um, this at home video series, which is line, shape, and color. And good design is when you repeat those just like in a math pattern. You, re you repeat numbers, you repeat shapes. So in art, it's you're repeating lines, colors, and um, shapes. Okay, so now the thing that I wanted to show you, if you do have tissue paper and you are using starch, um, this is kind of fun to do. Um, so I'm just gonna take some of this tissue paper here. And what I do is I get the starch down first, and then I'm gonna start the idea of layering, which is what a lot of collage artists do. And then that kind of adds a whole nother dimension. It starts kind of looking like stained glass, which is a lot of fun to do. Okay. Um, you know, and even if you, you know, find quotes that you want to uh, put in, you can. Um, and then I'm going to look at this. I notice, um, see, you know, that's going to be part of maybe my color pattern. Um, this is going to be part of my color pattern. I'm kind of going with this collage seems to be like a farm or garden theme. Um, you know, growing things. Uh, that seems to be a theme. So now I just start cutting and designing, seeing what I can repeat. And again, things don't need to be perfectly cut, you know. Um, that's, you don't, you know, need to always worry about everything being perfect. Sometimes those, you know, imperfections really make your artwork look very unique and special. So um, I just want to encourage you to um, remember you're the artist. So you just want to create um, your own unique collage that's um, special and unique to you. So see how I'm just laying things down, seeing what they look like, and I just keep kind of, build. it's the idea of building and layering. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. So this is, um, I, would ha I would wanna, again, have all of this, I'm not near finished. So I don't wanna have a bunch of empty spots. Um, I really wanna layer things, and that's um, really gonna, make your collage uh, stand out. As you can tell, I need to keep working on my collage. There's a lot of empty spots I need to fill. So have fun finishing up your collage. And just a reminder, collage is when we are gluing and layering all those different papers. So again, I think of it as I'm filling the page. So that is our lesson today on collage, and I hope you enjoyed it. So always remember when you are making art that you want to just relax, have fun, and keep creating. So I will see you in the next video.